Okay, let's go head on to the shuttle bus, see how that all works out. So we're exiting all the way over here on this opposite end of the building. And again, you're gonna be entering though via the front. So let's see where this is taking us to. Okay, we're going on a big bus over to the main boat show. So this looks a lot more luxurious than the smaller shuttles that we've been on the other days. So anyway, once again, if you're starting off at the Super Yacht Village and you want to get to the convention center, by all means, water taxi is the fastest way to get from there to here. Then if you want to continue on to the actual main part of the boat show from the convention center, it might be faster with the shuttle because we saw before that long line by the water taxi. And they're also renovating the Pier 66 Hotel and Marina. So they're going to be keeping the structure, but it's going to be a whole new thing around it. As you can see, a pretty long line to get on the shuttle that we just got off of. We're now here at the main portion of the show, at the Swimming Hall of Fame and Bahia Mar. The show is seeming super crowded this year, a lot more than what I've seen in the last two years. This is a look at what is going to be coming here in the fall of 2022, Fort Lauderdale Aquatic Center. Yeah, I've never showed this before, but I'm going to show you uh, some of the areas here that you would have to go to to get your credentials. So this would be like for exhibitors and so forth would be coming in here. As you can see, catering, electrical, convention services, hotels, all these different things. We've got some credentials there. But then for media, we have to go around the corner. Basically just on the other side of this wall right here. We just go out the doors like so. And here's our media center. And today is a very quiet day. Back on Wednesday, I was rushing through here. We got some nice cold water and some very interesting teas look at these teas the way they're packed i like that pineapple mango blueberry raspberry and passion fruit peach oh boy i went for the uh pineapple mango i'll let you know how that is some of you didn't believe me about the parking on the first day the same lot was 200 dollars. so today you could save 50 bucks and this is the parking lot that's right next to the swimming hall of fame and it's basically in between that and the main entrance to the boat show. So it's like super close parking, as you see. Here's the main entrance. But don't think that there's just crazy prices. There's plenty of good options for parking. I believe that the city of Fort Lauderdale lot over here by Los Angeles so might be a 20. I'm not sure. I wasn't able to confirm that. But I do know that the Broward County Convention Center, where we just came from, is $15, which I think seems like it's the best deal. As media, I'm entering a different section than you guys would, so you would walk the other way and go straight into the big tent with all the different accessories. I'm able to just kind of bypass that. But I'm gonna go get a bite to eat and then we'll go take a look inside there as well. And then I wanna take a walk along and go up to the north side of the show, or maybe we'll take a water tax. I think I'm gonna do that, a water taxi. So if I don't show the inside of this today, we'll come back another day. And as you can see, this entrance says, welcome exhibitors, so this is kind of for not just media, but for all the trade people as well, so they're not walking through the large tent of all the accessories. They kind of want the general audience to walk through there, see all that merchandise first, and then come out to the boat show. I am starving now. I'm going to head over to, I think, that food court area. Seen a lot of the Mercury 450Rs today. You can see that this section that we're walking through is kind of like the heart of the boat show. So we have like a lot of the smaller boats in this section. Also, you know, some of the center consoles are really fast boats. And then as we walk out, we're going to get to all of the bigger yachts. The really big boats are going to be over on the north and more so. That's where you're going to have like Denison and you're going to just see a lot more big boats. And that's more by the Swimming Hall of Fame. 
We're gonna see some of the other large boats as we head south along that outer perimeter. That's where we were looking at Ocean Alexander, for example. We just visited Nortec inside the convention center. And here are their boats in the water at the show, very crowded. It is packed here. I'm gonna show you this section right here. Here's a look at their menu. And you have a full bar section as well. Okay, for the ceviche, this would be what size? A medium? That's a, that's a large. Large, okay. So ceviche is a large, and then that comes with plantain chips as well. That would be $19.95 for the large. <laughs> Guy Harvey, whom I met at the Coconut Grove Arts Festival. Have him on video and also have a signed shirt from him there. We're right next to the Bahia Mar Hotel. I covered a few RVs at the Palm Beach International Boat Show. Essentially, it's like a yacht on land. Ferrari of Fort Lauderdale is here at the show as well. A lot of times these cars were kept over by the Super Yacht Village, so it's interesting to see them over here at the main part of the show. And then on the opposite side, some Porsches and some Lamborghinis. Yesterday I knew it rained a little bit. This is what I was talking about with the rain. Like this carpet right now is is wet. So when you're going around, it tends to be a little annoying in the rain because a lot of the boats you're boarding, you have to take your shoes off. There's carpeting. You don't realize it. You walk on it. Socks, feet soaking wet. I have never seen it this busy, not even back in 2019, pre-COVID. This is packed. Yes, it is. Well, you guys have that in the female medium? Oh, we're here, yeah, back that red square box. And they brought back the large tent buildings. So we still have a whole bunch of other exhibits in here where a few years ago saw the other submarine. Take a quick look, see if that sub's in there again. section of the portal call food court area had a gyro the other day I went with the chicken tikka masala so it's all white meat chicken as you can see and then there is basmati rice correct basmati rice and okay, we've got but let me just show this up we got some nice basmati rice and also some naan and oh what is this this is like a little thing to try out it's a spring roll spring roll thank you they have a restaurant also not far and i'm gonna turn it over so it's on 17th street so it's called indian harbor and we're open to 11 to 3 and then 5 to 10. so again i went with the chicken tikka masala platter which is just wonderful if you've never had chicken tikka masala you gotta try it and uh no i didn't wet myself but i got some of the tikka masala sauce on my shorts they have it nicely filled up. I didn't see it was like losing out of there, but this looks so good. I can't wait to dig in. And then uh, this bar over here was nice enough to hook me up with a cup of ice. So I'm gonna try out that pineapple mango tea, which mango goes really well with Indian food, so 
dig in and then we're gonna go check out some more boats. So the chicken tikka masala was great. Anyway, I wanna show you something also. If you request, you can also get a show map of printout. There's also the app, and the app seems to be a big improvement over what they've done in the past. I'm just gonna show you this because I'm using the phone for videoing. So right now we are in this area right here for the culinary experience. And what I'm noticing is I had asked the other day about taking a water taxi from the main section, which they moved all the way down south. It used to be around here. So they moved that there. And I was asking about taking a water taxi over to the north end, but I don't see anything listed here. They had told me there was, but I'm gonna have to double check that to find out. Because that was something I always liked doing was taking a ride along the Intracoastal and seeing all of these boats from the front. Normally when we're walking along, we're just kind of looking at them from the back. So I'll have to go check that out and um, I'll let you know in a little bit. I was asking about yesterday, they said it really rained hard about after four o'clock. It looks like it might again. Always a long line for this. Let's see if they have a fast pass in the future. Yeah, and just a little tip. So this is the Windward VIP Club over here. If you walk this way, you're going to kind of be going that, there. It's going to be hard to get over to the main pier unless you're ready to jump over that and hope you don't fall in. Otherwise, just take this short bridge right here at Pier D to get down there and across this way. Kind of a little wacky design because it gets bottled up over here trying to get the other way it would have been good to put another bridge thing like right over there to gain access so like right now i gotta wait to get around this way actually let's just turn it into a plus let's take a walk down this way and we can cut across to where i'm trying to go to where the water taxis are let's take a look one day at sunseeker haven't covered that before and by the way, in the future, please use the comment section to recommend what you'd like to see next. I generally cover three boat shows each year. The Miami International Boat Show, along with the Miami Yacht Show, which are held at the same time in February. Then in March, the Palm Beach International Boat Show, which I just started covering this year. And then in October, of course, where we are right now, the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Okay, this is bringing us right back to where the water taxes are. So I'm gonna go find out if there is one that brings you to the north side of the show or not. So I was just asking about the water taxi. So the water taxi is gonna bring us over to like uh, the Galleria, the other parking areas. We're not gonna be able to get off at the boat show, but it's at least gonna let us do that great view. She was even bringing it up that a lot of people like to take a round trip just to see all the boats from the front. So we'll do that right now. 
and uh, we'll come back. It'll be a round trip. I'll tell you, it is packed every day. They said there wasn't going to be a wait for where I'm going to, because I'm going to the uh, Galleria Mall area. Let's go over to the bow. We'll be leaving a little bit. I was told it's about 20 minutes each way. So once again, if you're paying for the water taxi, I would recommend try to set aside, you know, a good 45 minutes of your time to do what I'm doing right now, to take this round trip. So you can see all of the boats along the main portion of the boat show from the front. Okay, here we go. This is like the best way to see the boat show, guys. Because again, when you're walking, you're just looking at the stern of each boat. You can never see the front of them. Alrighty, guys. Or Welcome the sides to the of them. Water Taxi Fiesta. We are on our way to the Gallery One Double Tree and Gallery and Mall today. Just a couple of safety announcements as we get going here. If for any reason we do need life jackets, they are located next to the restroom, right in the center front of the boat. There's also no smoking on this vessel. That includes e-cigarettes and vaping, but we do strongly encourage drinking. And it is happy hour, everyone. So all of our drinks are five dollars, but light is four dollars. So come check us out at the bar. It's open. Lastly, when we get to the dock, we just ask that you remain seated so we can get everyone off the boat safely. to have where the water taxi would stop and drop you off somewhere like right around here in the past or maybe it was over on the north side of Las Olas when they had that back in 2019 That's, this might be the Denison boat yes the Denison boat we'll try to take a look at that later on if probably not today maybe another day Right over here with this boat that is the most northern part of the boat show this year 
again in 2019 it extended all the way underneath this overpass which is Las Olas Boulevard and the boat show continued all the way out here that that year it was just massive it was insanely massive but this year it's still bigger than it was last year last year we had we didn't have the convention center we didn't have the super yacht village and believe it or not this section was even smaller so it's definitely getting bigger again and I see we've got some people on top of the garage looking out. Or actually, it might be some sort of a uh, function up there. I see Denison up there. Denison seems to be everywhere. So the boats you're looking at now are not part of the boat show, but we'll just take a look at some of them anyway. Well, this is interesting. In the past, when I covered flips, we've never actually gone this way. So this will be a new route for this channel. In there is the Bonnet House, which I still have to cover one day. I've had a terrible during Phoenix Open last year. And that should be Sunrise Boulevard straight ahead. And then guys, we're gonna just stay on here and do a round trip. We're gonna be heading right back to where we came from. So this is the stop. It takes you to, I believe this is a hotel. It's really beautiful. And then you just walk, I guess, through the hotels a lot of people are doing. And uh, I was told the Gallery Mall is just right through there on the other side. Okay, the drawbridge is opening. Let's see what's coming through. This is a nice water taxi. This one has a restroom over here. Nice big restroom. And then they have a bar. I just missed somebody going by with an e-foil. I love those things. The electric hydrofoil surfboard looking thing.
Welcome to the boat show, everyone. This is actually the biggest boat show in the entire world. The biggest in-water boat show, I should say. We put out an extra nine mile of docks just for this boat show. Oh, up here. This is Idle Wild over here. This boat, Mocha, used to be the biggest boat docked at $47,000 a month to keep up with. The next boat, Boardwalk, that's one with a helicopter on the back of it. It also has another boat inside the boat because you can never have too many boats. The owner of this one is in the restaurant industry, owns Bubblegum Maestros, which is on the intercoastal, and a few other restaurants. Just to let you know, the water taxi is going to stop running tonight around 8 o'clock. So if I were you guys, I'd recommend being on a boat at 7, 7.30, anywhere in there, just to make sure we get you guys there safely. Thanks for riding the water taxi, guys. Gratuities are always welcome. They're not required, though, but we do appreciate it. If you have any questions, Brian and I are back here. This is known as a butterfly house over here from an aerial, kind of looks like a shape of a butterfly. In Idlewild, these are water view homes, not waterfront homes. You see there's a road going in front of it, which makes the homes and the property taxes a lot less than the other ones that are directly on the waterfront. And you learn interesting trivia like that each time you ride one of these water taxis. I always love that, listening to all the different information, finding out whose boat those are, etc., etc., even the homes, history. It's great. And it's just such a relaxing way to start off the boat show, end the boat show, or just to get around in the middle of the day at the boat show. Oh, and we just saw one of those boats, the Axapar, at the convention center. All right, it's about 6.30 right now, another half an hour of the boat show. I just spoke to Justin over at Denison, so we're gonna run over there and take a look at one of those boats at Denison. And I was just asking Justin about the Denison that we saw on top of the Las Olas parking garage. So there's another party there that sold out. I believe he said a concourse party. And Denison is one of the sponsors, so that's why we're seeing the Denison name, but it's not an actual Denison party itself. But Denison's name is everywhere around the boat show. We've been seeing that popping up. Uh, over by the White House Mansion, on the Las Olas parking garage, and even in front of the Bahia Mar when we're taking the shuttle bus. Did a princess yacht back on Wednesday, and it's three of the Ocean Alexanders as well. San Lorenzo over here. This one is a San Lorenzo. Oh, bookends, I've seen this one before. Serena Yachts are nice, Turkish Yacht Company. This is a Fed ship with a helicopter on top. 
Wow, this is interesting. I haven't seen a black boat like this. Oh, the thunder. Oh, so now the thunder is out of Denison's hands. That's interesting. IYC, offered for sale. Have a lot of coverage of this boat on this channel. Putting a full walkthrough tour. And then a look at their refit that we saw at the Palm Beach International Boat Show just back in March. So be sure to check out those two videos. I'll put a link in the description. I always like passing by this beautiful woodwork each time. Brower Design Center, I believe it's called. Yep. Looks like they're having a bit of a reception over there. Okay, we're getting closer to Denison and the north side of the show. This is called the Ocean Drive. Excellent, we just toured it also at Palm Beach Boat Show. Take a look, full tour inside the Excellence, given by the captain himself. Lovely boat with an interesting connection to racing. Oh, this is so interesting. Look at this. What's going on over here? Let me show this real fast. Oh, this is in something else. The walkway has just disappeared. That is really interesting. And we just need to find out where Justin is in one of these Denison boats. And we'll be taking a tour aboard them. Well, we'll be taking a tour aboard one Denison today. Because it's, you know, by the time we finish with that, the show's going to be closed. And we'll come back, we'll take a look at some more Denison boats. We're looking for a princess yacht. And I'm just kind of looking around to see what we might want to come back and take a look at tomorrow and Sunday. I always love seeing the boats in this low light when they have all the different lighting effects on them. So it's getting a little late now, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a tour tomorrow. We're going to do a few Denison boats. So right now, I'm just going to walk around the boat show, just kind of see everything in the low light with the lights on, and just kind of continue getting a feel for this northern end of the boat show. Okay, I'm here on the northern end. Beautiful sunset over there. Twilight lighting now. So right here on the northern end, there's an exit, and then I was told that the entrance is further down. So we'll just take a look at that, confirm that whole layout. And okay, there's some more boats over here. So we're at the northernmost part, there's Las Olas. And this does appear to be one of the entrances. I see the stanchions over there. And so this would take you to this part right here. So I guess that would be a good entrance if you are parked at the Las Olas parking garage.
And I'm just following the instructions of this boat. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And look at the colors on this one over here. Got like a whole nightclub vibe going on over there. And this is Denison's largest boat at this year's Flibs at 185 feet. And we'll be checking this out hopefully tomorrow. So this is a swing bridge. I was saying I got held up a little bit by that rotating drawbridge thingy. And I said, you mean the swing bridge? So learned a new term. And I know so many of you viewers love to uh, jump on my case that I don't know enough about boating and why am I doing this? But it's not a boating channel, it is an everything channel. And you know what? I'm human. I'm learning too. I don't know every single thing there is to know about boats and I never try to pretend to on this channel. I would love to like just have images of each boat's name and then try to form like by just flashing the images form like actual sentences. And there's sometimes some private parties on the different boats, even over there by the wood, the wood sculptures from Broward Design Center. This is that other beautiful boat, the Boardwalk. Oh yeah, Boat Magazine. I remember this the very first time I came to Flibs. It was so damn hot outside. I remember just hanging out in there to cool off and other people were doing the same thing. Oh, this looks like one of those yachts for hauling all the toys. Oh my God, look at this. this is how appropriate this is. Okay, I do a lot of uh, other content such as Halloween, haunted houses, and I just covered the biggest Haunt attraction in Miami is House of Horror. Okay, it says horrors, it's plural, but close enough. And it's like 7.20, I gotta make sure I don't dilly-dally too much looking around here because water taxis run until eight. Do not want to miss that. I love the name of this one over here. It's an Angusta. This is interesting from Ferretti. Something named Wally. I haven't seen that before. Is this the Wally? That's very nice. Oh, 
All right, I'm getting closer to the water taxi. Wow, look how dark it gets down there. <laughs> so I was eating lunch just before. Okay, and we're back by Bahia Mar and Princess. Not too much farther. The boat that we're looking at right here is the X95 from Princess. Uh, you can see that whole boat on my video at the 2021 Palm Beach International Boat Show, where it made its U.S. debut. See now over here, Azimut has a whole party going on. These are kind of like the after-hour parties. Got some more editing to do and some more haunted house videos and uh, need to get up early for tomorrow to start a whole new boat show day. So I was just asking uh, one of the police officers about these after hour parties, how long they run. He says they usually run until about like 8.30, 9 o'clock. Not super late. Ocean Alexander covered three of those on day one of this boat show, including this big bad boy right here on the right. That's a, I believe, a world debut. And then this one, which is their largest boat that they're offering. So you can take a look at those two boats, as well as a 100, that's a pre-owned boat, behind these. Really beautiful interiors on those. Yeah, I gotta watch where I'm walking because I'm doing a sideways view. Look what would happen if I just kept walking and not paying attention. More parties over here from Galleon. Absolute. I believe that boat you're looking at right there on the right, I have on the channel already. <laughs> What's nice is in, at nighttime you can actually see through to the rooms and here we are we are back to where the water taxis are and you see over here all these signs just pointing you this way water taxi because yeah in the past it used to be that you walked around the right side to get in but now it's on this side so that concludes my second day friday of the fort lauderdale international boat show 2021 The light that you see going up into the sky is from the Seminole Hard Rock Guitar Hotel. Be sure to check out my video about it where I covered the grand opening. You'll get to see some familiar faces such as Johnny Depp and Morgan Freeman there as well. There is the famous White House the other night on Wednesday. It was all orange and it seemed like there was some function in Denison. I forgot to ask about that so I'll be sure to ask about that tomorrow. Here I am back to where I parked right underneath Causeway with a view of the Super Yacht Village boats. And so that's a wrap for tonight. I'll be back tomorrow and Sunday as well. Hopefully do a live stream at some point. But tomorrow focusing on Denison and their beautiful boats over there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know by smashing the like button. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell, check out the playlist on boating. There's another playlist for flibs. 
and playlist for all the boat shows, navigate around, plenty of boating content here on Fat 1010, the Everything Channel, SoFlo, and beyond. Bye.